Hi guys, I'm Ignacio, the non-expert. I apologize for not posting any videos in the last two months. It's been kind of hectic around here, but today I'm starting again and I'm really excited. It's kind of cool outside, so I'm gonna be making a Colombian plantain chicken soup. It is so good and hearty. It's one of those meals you'll wanna have over and over again, but you have to abstain because it has a ton of calories from the carbs in it. So let's get started. I'm using a clay pot to make my soup in. You can use a regular pot. This is a Colombian pot from the, the region of La Chamba, which is famous because of its black clay. I think the soup tastes better in a clay pot. I like to make my own chicken stock, which I basically make with uh, vegetables and the bones of a chicken that I'm using for something else, and part of the skin and some salt and I boil it till I get my own chicken stock. But if you don't have your own chicken stock, it is perfectly fine to use chicken broth from um, any you know, pre-made source. I also have pre-peeled juca, which is tapioca. It's called juca in Spanish. And depending on the region you're getting your juca from, it can be called tapioca or something else. But I needed some more juca, so I basically bought the rough pre... Uh, this is the pre-peeled. This is the unpeeled rough root. And uh, pretty much this is what it looks like. There's different sizes. There can be juca this long. Um, you know, bigger tubercules than this. I've never peeled juca before in my life, so I'm gonna give it a shot today. You can see that the juca is uh, brown on the outside. The skin is very tough. And the inside is nice and white, just like the one I bought pre-peeled. I'm basically splitting the chuka like they do at the farms. You don't cut all the way through it with your knife, you basically just sort of dig into it and uh, split it. These are green plantains. This is not a banana. Well, it's not a banana like the ripe bananas you eat. This is a plantain, which is another variety of banana, and I have to peel these. Be very careful because they can stain your clothing.
Be sure to stir your syrup so that it doesn't stick to the bottom because of all the starch it has. The other thing you're going to notice is that the soup is um, thick and a green-gray color, which means it's almost ready.